Before the days of SD cards and flash storage, tape and film reigned supreme. If you were a kid in the 90s, you probably remember at least one member of your family running around the house and probably every vacation with a camcorder held to their eye. But let's be honest, when was the last time you actually pulled out those old tapes and watched them? Does your TV even have the inputs needed to view them anymore? If your answer is anything like mine, it might be time to start digitizing them. Now, you could, of course, just get a cheap USB capture card off of Amazon, record it through the free OBS software on your PC, and call it a day. But for me, let's face it, that would be too easy. You see, someone else was also using tape around this time. Hollywood. Back in the early days of nonlinear editing, professional production studios spent tons of time and money in the pursuit of perfecting the process of capturing their analog Betacam tapes in the highest quality possible. And by 2006, most of that R&D had trickled down into this, the Aja Kona LHE, a prosumer capture card designed specifically to work with Apple's PowerMac G5 and Mac Pro computers which were the de facto choice for video editing at the time. While this was originally a $1,300 card meant to go in a $3,000 computer, I've put this setup together over the years for about $50. So today let's take it for a spin and see what this old dinosaur can do, or if you are better off with a more modern solution. The camera we'll be working with here today is my family's trusty Sony Handycam TRV68. I've made a video about it quite a few years ago now, and it's still going strong. My mom picked this up in 2001, and it was responsible for capturing my family's precious moments all the way up until 2011. The Kona LHE installs into the Power Mac like any other PCI card does, and once it's installed, we'll plug in its large breakout cable. This card can record pretty much any analog format, 480i to 1080p over composite, S-video, and component, and it'll accelerate video processing inside of Final Cut Pro 6. Since my camera outputs both composite and S video at the same time, I'm going to connect the S video output from the camera to a breakout cable that separates out the Luma and Chroma signals from the S video connector, which I will then run into the Luma and Chroma inputs on the LHE's breakout cable. Then I'll run composite and sound from the camera through a JVC video monitor I happen to have lying around and then I'll run the audio from that into one of the inputs on the Power Mac. After everything is installed, I'll launch the Aja Configurator tool and adjust the settings for a 480i capture of S-Video. Then go into Final Cut Pro and select the Log and Transfer option, which will bring up our capture settings, and after adjusting our video and mic levels, we are finally ready to begin. Because I have the JVC monitor hooked up, I'm able to watch the footage and set the volume to my liking while it's being captured on the Power Mac. You can see a live preview of what's being captured in Final Cut, but the audio is muted and the frame rate is more of a slideshow, so I prefer this solution. If you're wondering, I have Final Cut Pro 6 set up to capture in the ProRes video format, which is still a modern standard, that I can then move to my modern computer and edit this video for YouTube. But you could certainly export it as a standard .mov file right from the Power Mac itself. The footage you're watching now, I captured using this method, and it's a good example of what you can expect. At the end of the day, this camcorder only has around 320 lines of resolution, so don't expect miracles. But with this card, this is pretty much the highest quality that is achievable for most Hi8 camcorders. Don't buy the guy! How many times I gotta tell you? If you don't click when you're supposed to, they get the big idea that they don't have to pay no more. Now, <laughs> you get back in that doc's office and get me that money. <clears throat> Welcome to my place, the Grand Palace Hotel and Saloon. Y'all are just in time for the show, so sit back, relax, and let my girls and I entertain you. Oh, and uh. The bar is open for your refreshment, so stop in and have a drink if you haven't already, okay?
This same setup can be used for any analog capture though, not just home movies. VHS tapes can be digitized with it too, like I've done with Raiders here, or if you've got an old game console like a Sega Genesis or Dreamcast, this will capture their native output in the highest quality possible. Now at this point, it's probably obvious that this setup isn't feasible for most people, and that is perfectly fine. While I've had a fun time putting this together, and my family is very happy with the results, you will get every bit of 95% of this quality or more using a modern capture card. This video was more intended as a neat demonstration than a review of the product. It is amazing though how well it's all worked. After digitizing probably around 40 hours of content at this point, neither the Power Mac or the Aja software crashed a single time, and the whole process has honestly been every bit as efficient and reliable as I would expect from a professional grade tool. One thing to keep in mind if you are thinking about trying this yourself, just like the people in this footage, this equipment is not getting any younger. While I'm fairly adept at electronic repair, everything you see in this video is pushing 20 to 30 years old at this point. While our Handycam has been nothing if not a bastion of reliability so far, shockingly, even the batteries still hold a charge, who knows how much longer that will last. So if you're considering digitizing your family videos, I would suggest you go for it while you still can. Maybe not with something this archaic and complicated, but still. Once they're digitized, you can upload them to something like iCloud, where they'll be safe for a long time to come and can be easily shared with friends and family. And I promise, you will all get a blast out of rewatching them. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, hit like, get subscribed, and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And I will see you guys in the next one.